welcome back to my channel so let's jump into these messages and let's see what the universe wants you to know when i was pre-shuffling for you guys i felt the energy of some of you are deciding to be okay with a breakup or with someone pulling away from you i don't know if it's that you're okay with it um, maybe you're accepting it and you're like, okay, fine, I'm ready for something new or I don't care, you know, if if I have to move on, then that's just what it'll be. But it's that way for now. Um, I don't feel like this is where it ends. So we're going to see what comes out. So what messages do you have for Aries? Yeah, some of you are confused. You're, you're isolating yourself because you're like, okay, I don't know what this person wants. They're not talking to me. They're not even telling you what their problem is. So I feel like even if you do care, Aries, you're not letting them know it. Yep. The uh, four of wands reversed. We have the ace of pentacles reversed. Some of you feel like you lost some money when it when it comes to this person. Um. I don't know if you're totally done with them or I don't know if this person is totally done with you. Take it how it resonates. It could be your person feeling like this. With the four of wands reverse, you're not happy. So you're like, you know what? If I have to stay away from this person, then maybe it's for the best. That's how you're thinking about it. But you're still very um, passionate about them and there is going to be a new beginning. So I feel like this is someone who's going to reach out to you. Maybe this person owes you money. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse or you feel like you lost money in some sort of way um, dealing with this person. We also had the Three of Wands. So you may be waiting for them to talk to you. You feel like you're not going to reach out to this person at all, Aries. I feel like you're fed up with someone here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? All right, so we have the Four of Swords. Someone's thinking about you. They want to come out of this tower situation that you guys are in. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. But this person is not talking about their feelings. This would piss me off so bad. Like the tower reverse, but this person is reversed as well. So they want to avoid a disaster. They want to avoid some sort of conflict or chaos with you. But they're also not speaking up about what's on their mind. I thought like this person is going through something and they just don't want you to know about it. They're not ready to give up on what you guys have with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like they're thinking a lot about what you guys have built. Yeah, somebody is still wanting to give to this. We have the Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Devil. Could be a Capricorn or someone still feels a bond with you. And they're not ready to um, let it go. Yeah, they still want the Ten of Cups with you. So they're like, okay, we're going through something. I feel like this person just sees it as you guys going through something, Aries. Um, and you're like fed up though. The nine of swords, worry, fear, anxiety. This person may feel like you're really over them this time around. They don't know what to make of your silence. If you're not talking to this person or if you do talk to them, it's like you have very little to say. You're not reaching out. I feel like at some point you were reaching out, talking to this person, texting them, maybe asking them, were they okay? All right, this card fell on the floor. When you finally talk to this person, there's going to be an argument. There's going to be some conflict. Because I feel like this person, if they're the one that's silent... Where did the card go? Give me one second. If they're the ones that's silent, they're going to break their silence and talk to you. All right, so the card that fell on the floor was the Justice Reverse. So some of you could be dealing with the Libra. They feel like you're not treating them fair. They feel like you're not being fair about something. With the Five of Wands... And the Nine of Swords. I feel like what this person doesn't realize is because you're tired and you're fed up that you're not going to put up with their crap anymore. And they're not used to this new behavior. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, you're no longer giving to this. You don't, you're not even confident that you can have something with this person. Could be an earth sign, Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Or you're just like, you know what, I'm done. I've given too much to this situation. You know, when the Queen of Pentacles comes out reversed, she or he, because the cards are not gender-based, um, she or he, they're, you're tired of doing, overdoing. So maybe some of you were over-giving to the situation, and now you're sort of realizing it. 
the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is taking their time coming towards you. They're making you think that it's done and over with, but it's not. Ooh, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy. Somebody owes you money. All right, so here's the Knight of Swords and the Four of Cups reverse. Yeah, so someone is going to tell you that they want to let go of whatever it is that you guys have been going through and they want to talk about this. You could get a message from this person or a phone call or uh, something on social media. Possibly if you block this person, they're going to try to reach out to you through like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You're on this person's mind. They don't want to keep fighting or arguing or just going through something with you. They don't want this silence. This person could have betrayed you and stabbed you in the back in some kind of way. We have the death card. Maybe some of you just gave up on this situation. Look at that. Four, um, the three of swords. I was about to say four of swords. Three of swords. And then we have the sun reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio. And you're like, okay, this person keeps betraying me. They keep stabbing me in the back. What else am I supposed to do about this but to let it go? Or you feel like, you know what, it's just time for you to take up for yourself. And even though you want this situation to work and you're still hanging on to this, you're not chasing after this person. You're not chasing after this King of Cups. You refuse. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You're like, I'm not going to chase you. It is what it is. If you want it to work, come see me, talk to me, text me, something. If not, you're like, okay, I'll just have to get over this. Let's get couple more spirit what messages do you have for Aries what do they need to know I don't feel like someone is going to just let this go I don't feel like someone is going to leave it no because they're feeling some sort of way <laughs> this person feels some sort of way they're like no I gotta manifest with Aries could be a Virgo or a Gemini here see I feel like you don't even know what this person is feeling and thinking right now you're feeling like they don't care but they don't I just feel like this person is you know their old manipulative ways won't work anymore with you so for them waiting for you to, to call or text them or waiting for you to fix this, it's not going to work anymore. So this person is realizing that. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.